Hey everyone, Tidman here, back with some more Teamfight Tactics, playing up in Master Rank, and we've got some completed items on this first carousel here, and hopefully I can grab this, um, uh, this Hextech Gunblade, looks like that is what we get, I think that's probably the best one on this opening carousel, maybe the Luden's Echo is also pretty good, uh, Chalice of Favor also fine, but we do get a Hextech Gunblade to start things off, and, uh, that's a good item on a variety of units. It's pretty good for the healing if you want to throw it on somebody like Shaco. Uh, it's kind of like a poor man's bloodthirster for him. Same with uh, like Aurelia as a, as a poor man's bloodthirster. It's really the best item on Jace, I think, because he does a whole lot of ability damage with his alt and uh, that'll heal him for a whole lot and give him a little bit more bonus damage. So maybe we're looking for Jace. I uh, can also work on Mordekaiser, because uh, he's going to be taking damage, obviously, before he ults, so he can heal up while that shield is active, if that's uh, if that's an option. So maybe looking towards, like, Vanguard's Dark Stars, possibly. can also go on somebody like Darius, who got a big buff in this patch, so that uh, every time he dunks, he can get a big heal off. So uh, let's pick up uh, another Zaya. And, I don't know, I guess Poppy, since we're kind of thinking about Vanguards, and we kind of want some Frontliner in front of the Zaya. We could run with a 2-star Zaya for a while. I think she's a pretty good carry now that her Deadly Plumage has been buffed a little bit. It used to be 75, 100, 150, I guess, uh, for the attack speed. Now it's uh, it starts at 100, so it, it does uh, starts a little bit stronger and gets a little bit more power, even at 2-star. So she does attack quite a bit faster here. Pick up a Negatron Cloak so we could combine these to a Chalice of Favor. Uh, that's a good item. It did get buffed. It does give mana back to the wearer, but uh, maybe not with what we currently have. That's that's really good in like a caster-based composition or like on Sona, who spams out casts a lot. We do find the Darius, and I'm just picking that up because I know he's going to be a good one to hold Hextech Gunblade. Uh, otherwise, I actually might make this swap because if I want to sell something off to buy like a Fiora... And we're going to beat the creep round anyway, it doesn't matter uh, who we have in. I'm kind of thinking I want this this Fiora. I mean, cybernetics have been kind of nerfed, or at least six cybernetics have. But I think I'm still fine to do that, because I think I want to move this onto the Darius. Uh, and especially because we have found a two-star one here, but there's also a Mordekaiser. So I still think I kind of want this on the Darius for the moment. Uh, gonna put in the Mordekaiser, and probably sell off the Fiora for another Darius, and maybe sell this off for a Leona, just to go up for some more Vanguards here. Alright, in terms of other items, we can get a Frozen Heart, Swordbreaker, Chalice of Favor. None of those I'm thrilled about creating just yet. Uh, I think I'm probably trying to look for, if we want like a Vanguard space pirate kind of comp i mean if we want to go up to four space pirates we'd need to grab a gangplank but it would be pretty cool you know if we can get some free components out of the deal um vanguards obviously we want jace we'd want like a graves uh for some early space pirates and um i think it might be possible and if so we would want like another chainmail for a bramble vest and another negatron cloak for a dragon's claw to maybe throw on the mordekaiser or the jace and uh you know maybe darius <laughs> <laughs> With his dunks, he might... Eh, he's not going to get there. I thought there was a possibility if he gets another dunk off, he heals up and just just goes off. But could not quite get there. We do find a two-star Darius, though. That's pretty insane. Um, he's definitely going to be able to carry now. We did take a one loss, but, you know, whatever. Uh, first round's kind of a... You know, just whoever got the better opening. But now that we found the two-star Darius, we don't have another space part. I really want one. But uh, until we find that, I'll just pick up uh, some more Vanguards. Gonna have him... I guess I can move him now closer to the front. If he takes a couple hits of damage, that's okay, because he can just heal right up. Whereas before, when he was still one star, I kind of wanted to leave him offset, uh, so he didn't take too much damage, because he was still one star and all. My opponent has the exact same items on their bench, so they they agree. They These three do not combine into anything particularly good at the moment. Nice part about Darius versus Mordekaiser is that... Uh, I was about to say, it looked like he was under 50% health, but I guess not... Uh, is that he's under 50% health, but his shield, you know, uh, makes him appear tankier, but he's actually uh, under the execute threshold for a Dreadnova Guillotine. But he wasn't quite there. Sweet, so we got the win. I feel like we're going to go on a win streak here with this two-star Darius with the Hextech Gunblade. It's, it's just really strong right now. And, yeah, I, I think that's... You know, I really hope we get to find a 
Graves or Jace. We do find a Caston, which gives us Mana Reaver, which is fine. So now that he can Reave their mana. I would still like the Space Pirate so we can grab some extra gold, but that's not uh, that's not coming at the moment. In terms of other units, you know, if we're going down this kind of path, I guess I'm looking for... I mean, other than the Space Pirates, the Blasters, the maybe more Vanguards, I don't think Protectors, Mechs, Orcs, maybe Brawlers it might be a, another route, but I'm still not really convinced about that. There is a Shroud of Silence, or Shroud of Stillness out there, so glad we kind of spread a little bit so it didn't hit everybody. Being said, I think... I think Darius wins this. I think he does. Like, <laughs> uh, no, he's not going to get another cast off, is he? He does, but it doesn't heal him enough. Oof. All right, no win streak for us. It does give us a pretty early pick on this next carousel, though. Uh, I mean, earlier than the Undefeateds. So... Hoping for Jace. Jace would be nice just as a unit. And he's got a Chainmail, so I can make a Bramble Vest on him rather than make it over on the Mordekaiser. Um, unfortunately, Jace does get picked, so now I guess I'm maybe looking at um, the Cloak, I suppose. Or I think actually I'm just going to grab a Health. Uh, item here because it's worth two more gold to pick it up off the Shaco rather than on the one cost unit. And it does make a pretty good item for this style of build, the Morellonomicon, which would be great on a Mordekaiser eventually. So I think I'm okay to pick that up here just for the two extra gold, especially because we are kind of at a point where we're like, hey, I really want to get a couple extra gold here to get our interest up and running. Unfortunately, it doesn't make anything right now. It could make a Zephyr or a red buff, but those aren't really what we're looking for at the moment, I don't think. Um, I want this, a, another Cassidy, I think that would be great. But in terms of uh, selling gold, because I really want to get up to 10 gold for interest, I definitely am fine to sell these two. Hopefully we win and grab interest, but I also want this Leona. I think Leona's better than Poppy, at least by the late game, if you're just looking for like a vanguard to stand up in front. Um, I'm even going to take this loss, so I don't even get to buy that second one. I'm just going to sell off the Poppy here. As we uh, are definitely going to take a loss here without really finding any more upgrades. After that two-star Darius, it's kind of dried up, and the fact that we picked a better item for later rather than a better item for right now it doesn't combine into anything at the moment. I think that's fine. We might take uh, another loss here, take a losing streak into the Terror Busters. We'll still beat the Terror Busters. Vanguards are still pretty good against them, uh, being very tanky, and of course Darius can just deal enough damage. Don't really want to sell off this Kasten. I think Mana Reavers are still pretty good, so I'm just buy this extra Poppy. Kind of wish I'd sold off the Leona then last turn, but oh well, hindsight. And we'll just buy a bunch of units because we're not going to get up to 20 gold. And we can just uh, keep our options open. Really unfortunate we found an early two-star Darius and no more Space Pirates. I was kind of banking on the fact that, you know, we would get uh, some extra gold that way. Unfortunately, it did not quite work out. Looks like we might take the win here against uh, another opponent who's uh, a little bit lower on life. I kind of would have been okay taking a losing streak for one more round. Uh, the streak gold has been slightly modified. It would only still be one bonus gold, so it's kind of I actually make the same amount of gold whether I won or lost there but I don't have uh, the streak to continue. We do find a two-star Poppy. Pretty good. Um, we could pick up Ash if we want to go with like, more Vanguards. Um, and like throw some Snipers behind it, maybe. Or we can just pick up a pair of Twisted Fates. We'd also go towards like more Celestials. I'm not really sure that I think six Celestials is, is a thing. I, I think I, I'd rather just pass on it right now and make sure we grab 20 gold of interest because we are a bit behind in gold since we're buying the expensive Cassadins and the expensive Darius that uh, has not really paid dividends in terms of uh, space pirate gold like I was hoping it would. Do find the uh, Needless Large Rod for a Morella Namicon. We also find a Crit Glove for an Infinity Edge or a GA. None of those other defensive items like that I wanted for a Bramble Vest or a Cloak. Uh, Hand of Justice or Spear of Trojan would 
might be okay. I think I'm just going to make the Morellonomicon on Mordekaiser. I think that's pretty good. Let's go back to the Mana Reavers here. And probably just going to sell off these uh, these Twisted Fates here, I think. I'm going to put Poppy a little bit more in the middle, so hopefully more people attack the Poppy, because she's a two-star. Might sell off this Leona if I have to. Oh, there is a Graves. Why didn't I pick up the Graves and put it in? I probably should have done that. That would have potentially got me an extra gold. And I do want the Space Pirates, obviously. Uh, so we might not get up to 30 gold this turn. I really don't want to get rid of Kasten. I think Kasten's actually quite strong. Um, I could just make like a GA on like Darius if I really want to go crazy with that. I mean, he has been buffed. And I kind of, I kind of want to give it a try. Go like a, a big space pirates build. I mean, I would need to get a Jace to really make it work, and then we just like try to focus on levels so we can get close to that gangplank, get up to level seven or eight as soon as possible. So throwing the graves here, buy an extra Mordekaiser. I don't think I'd ever be upset with a guardian angel though. So I think we just make it. Because if, I, if uh, the other alternative for this build, right, if, um, if like, Space Pirates is not really a thing and doesn't really come together or, or work the way I want it to, um, it would probably be, like, Vanguard Snipers slash Darkstar. So we would want to get uh, Jin, which would want a, an Infinity Edge and a GA and, you know, maybe another damage item of some sort. So I don't think I'm ever going to be unhappy having a Guardian Angel. Uh, if, if with regardless of which style comp I'm going, whether it's uh, whether it's like this space pirate vanguard thing or like snipers, like dark star snipers, I think either way we're going to be pretty happy with it. So I'm okay to make that, give myself a little bit more power now that we're trying to get uh, get something of a win streak going. Darius needs another ult. I think he's just going to chain. No, he couldn't get he couldn't get another one off. I thought if he could uh, cast fast enough, he could chain those off and, and heal up, but could not quite get there before the uh, overtime timer kicked in and killed him off. We did get one bonus gold there, though. We can pick up a Fizz. Uh, not really what we were hoping for. Um, in terms of these other items, I'm looking for maybe making an IE on a potential, like, uh, Jin with the sparring gloves. I don't think I really want Quicksilver, Hand of Justice. I'm actually kind of like torn. I don't really know what this uh, this tier is supposed to make in the build. Maybe if we want to keep Kasten in, it could make like a Seraph's Embrace on him, so that he can just cast as much as possible. I guess it could, in theory, make a Frozen Heart if we don't if we're not able to get up to a Bramble Vest. Wouldn't be terrible. I'm getting a lot of bonus gold here. Holy cow! Not quite enough to get up to another interest threshold up to 50 uh, unfortunately okay in terms of items what am I looking for I'm looking for either another negatron so I can make a like a dragon's dragon's claw on on the Mordekaiser make him really tanky looking for a chainmail um, I don't really want to pick the poppy again because it would just be like the one gold option I could pick something that would give me a lot more gold I don't I I could make a Seraphs here with the Wukong. I'm kind of okay with that. I want to. I want to try a Seraphs on on uh, on a Cassidy. I think that would be fine. Hell, it could even be fine on uh, on a Darius. But he hopefully Darius is just chain casting anyway. And I kind of want to give him like some ability power item instead, so that he can actually uh, you know successfully kill off the target so we can get that reset but you know what i'm fine i'm fine to try this i didn't think i was going to find a way to make use of that tier otherwise unless i got it with a tier so we do get that online um do i level up to six here it would cost me another gold of interest but i don't have anything great to put in i don't have a win streak to protect so i think i can just wait one more turn here i think a lot of people are probably going to level to six here but I can wait till next turn to do it, I think. 
Like, there's just not a lot that I care to 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 level or uh, to put in here with a level up. So it's kind of whatever. I actually kind of like this cast and disarm. He he got two disarms off and really uh, stalled like a good half of their board. I think Darius cleans this up, right? Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Darius triple dunk. Give me some bonus gold here. Doesn't really matter what I pick up. Um, I don't think we're going towards sorcerers with Ari. Actually, quick scout around. Is there anybody on sorcerers? Kind of. Maybe I should have picked up that Ari. Yeah. Oh well. Level up, throw in, uh, I guess another space pirate or another Mordekaiser. I haven't found a Jace yet, which would really be ideal. Be the good vanguard and... I kind of want to just, just make space pirates work, what can I say? I really just want to get up to six space pirates. Four space pirates. I mean six if I run multiple Darius or something like that. <laughs> dunk, dunk. Ah, I didn't quite get the dunk off on. I still think we win this. I still think this Darius can't, can't lose, right? Yeah. Oh, easily. Some bonus gold here so we can buy another unit. Oh my god, look at all that free gold! Nice! Uh, Alright, so... You know what? Spirit, I want to try this. Let's, um... We're just we're just going to level up to 8 as soon as we can. So that we can get the best odds on finding Gangplank. And Jace, to an extent. And then we're just going to try to have uh, Darius chain dunk everybody. And then he's going to give us all kinds of free components so we can load up the Jace and the Mordekaiser and the Gangplank and the Kassadin. Because we're going to have so many components from four uh, Space Pirates. And I hope it's good. I don't know if it is, but it got buffed in the latest patch so it must be worth something, right? That's that's what I'm going to tell myself, and uh, I hope it's true. I don't really care for Vi here. Uh, I got a bow. Gives me Last Whisper, Rune on Hurricane. Not what I need. We do find the Jace, though. Um, I get three Vanguards, so now I'm really looking for another Vanguard. I think I'm just going to level here because I can easily sell off to make sure I maintain interest here. I only have one Dark Star, but Karma's kind of appealing. Maybe Karma's actually even better than an extra Mordekaiser at this exact moment. Maybe. Just so we can link it up to the Darius. I don't know if that's actually better or not. The one has a two-star chase. Seems OP. I'm gonna try a two-star chase. Uh, I think we're gonna lose this. Oof. No more win streak for us. In terms of items here, I mean, Last Whisper or Runon's Hurricane are both good on, like, a Djinn. If we did want to go back into Snipers, but doesn't really do much here. Ah, oh, there's a Thrash. I was... If that was a, um... If that was a... Gangplank, we would be in so much business right now. Don't, I mean, Thrash actually works as a Mana Reaper, but I don't, I think, I think a cast is, especially with the Seraphs, is probably a touch better. Uh, I'll pick up the Ash just in case we do want to branch back into Snipers. Um, that would, like, involve a lot of retooling of this build. We would run, um, you know, we'd cut the Darius, we'd still probably run four Vanguards, and then just try to run, throw in the Snipers behind it. Don't actually think Thrash is going to be doing anything in either variant of this build, whether it be, uh... Um, whether it be more space pirates oriented or more like sniper oriented oof that one hurt opponent had a uh, pure damage Velkaz and when we get four vanguards and have all armor magic damage slash pure damage slices right through that um I kind of just want to level to 8 here I think I'm just going to do it because we want to rush eight anyway, and screw it. I'm just gonna we're just gonna roll. If we can hit, if we need a gangplank, then that'll be that would be amazing. It does not seem very likely that we had a gangplank though. We had another thresh and misfortune. Karma. Do I want a two star karma? Do I think she is gonna be the pick here at any point? If I want to get like 
Jin Darkstar. The problem is I don't actually have like a lot of progress towards like a three star Darius. So like that's really what I would hope for if I wanted to go like the Space Pirate build. And of course I'd like a Gangplank already. Um, let's see what we get on this carousel. We're going to be a pretty early pick, right? Uh, second group. If we can find a Gangplank on the carousel, I won't buy the Karma. But if I do find a Gangplank, then we... There's a Gangplank. Please let me have it. I, I just want to play Space Pirates. What can I say? I don't think anybody else is going to pick Gangplank, right? Nice. Because he also had a bad item. Like, if he had, like, a, a, a chainmail or a sword or a tear, like, I think he would have been picked. Uh, instead, he had a pretty bad item. We actually can give him... Now we can give him the... We can actually make give Gangplank a Last Whisper and a Runan's Hurricane uh, so that he can actually DPS from behind the line. We, the problem with this build is we have a lot of melee units. Like, a lot of melee units. So, actually giving him, like, a, a ranged item is like kind of okay here uh or a, i guess a rapid fire cannon plus a quicksilver maybe that's like yeah yeah so he can actually stand in the back and then just auto attack i don't know if it's the best but i want to try it um so i don't need these karmas um i really just want to reroll for i don't even really need ash do i i need jace no i think i just run this build um maybe we replace a poppy at some point. Maybe we want a demolitionist at some point as well. Another graves. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell these off. I just I just want to collect uh, items now. Now that we got a uh, gangplank, uh, hopefully giving us free items with space pirate. There's a free item. Nice, we got one. <laughs> gangplank dunk. No, I couldn't get another one off. That's all right. We got a free needlessly large rod. I mean, we're at 37 life, so I'm not gonna like say we've won this game already but I'm happy that we got a free component there yeah let's just uh, let's just reroll there's a two star Jace that's gonna help a lot um, we don't need snipers we definitely need that and I guess two strikes yeah definitely two strikes great um, how can you tell what um, upgrades he has it doesn't so i guess this like little uh indicator on the bottom is supposed to tell you but it's not very clear um i'm gonna hold off on putting this rod out on somebody if i can grab a spatula then we want to make a demolitionist uh on like on like jace um but if we don't get a spatula then i'm fine to put it on like on the the gangplank oh my god we're getting so much gold here <laughs> nice no components though no components yet just yet It's actually really good that we have the uh, the rapid fire cannon on this gangplank, I think, because we would not have enough like spots. Like our whole board is melee, <laughs> and so so we kind of need to to give him a ranged uh, attack here. Uh, depends on if we get any gold or not. I can sell off this poppy to grab more interest. I don't know that we're ever going to level up and put another unit in. I guess we could try to grab like chrono blaster. Is not even that great. I would probably just put a Demolitionist in unless I could grab a uh, Demo Charge Spatula. Oh, is that a Spatula? Oh my god, that's a Spatula. Oh my god, there's another gold one. That's a double Spatula! Uh, uh, actually, I just think I make just a Celestial and a Demo Charge here, right? Because I kind of want the Celestial. Alright, I'm going to make a Demo Charge. Uh, I don't need the extra unit. We're just kind of saying that. We're just adding for synergies. So might as well throw this out on the poppy. Now we've got uh, uh, two more alliances that we just completed. Two more synergies. Um, okay, what's next? Uh, we want, obviously, the two-star Wukong, two-star Gangplank. Three-star Darius. I guess I just want to reroll instead of trying to level. I think we're still relatively strong, though, with those upgrades. Um, so... Let's just hope we win and sell off the poppy if we need to. And uh, hopefully grab some more components here. Oh my god, double components! Nice! <laughs> That's a Bramble Vest. We can throw that out on Jace uh, so that he's super tanky. Uh, and, you know, if he grabs us more gold, that'd be that'd be awesome. 
in the meantime, this this gin is just like not having it. This gin is just not going down. We kind of do lack damage output. I will say that. Uh, we are a little bit lacking in terms of damage output. All of our damage comes from Jace and Gangplank alts, so really want to load those up. Uh, let's make Jace really tanky with the Bramble Vest. Uh, crit Glove, we'll save onto that. Um, yeah, I think I just re-roll here. I don't really want the Misfortune. I could go for a three-star cast, and that would help quite a bit as well. There's a Wukong. Can I get... Uh... I mean, I'm just kind of looking at three stars on some of these guys, but more pressing, I think, is the Wukong and uh, any Gangplank upgrades I could find, whether it be a two-star Gangplank or um, the... Like a, a larger area would be great as well. Gangplank alt. There it is. Hey, there's a trap claw. I really want to get like some some a uh, ability power on the gangplank, like a Rabadon's death cap or something, just so that you know he hits that much harder. Uh, we're getting a lot of components, and this is this is going quite well. I I am very much enjoying this. Let's just take a reroll so we can find the Wu Kong, hopefully. Or a gangplank. Don't need the Zerath. He is pretty cool. His new unit got added in, but not in this build. He's not that helpful. There's the Wukong. One more gangplank, maybe? Please. Oh, I guess I should have been grabbing these Jaces. Probably. Probably don't actually need these Poppies. I should have grabbed that last Jace. I missed that. We could throw a Trap Claw down on somebody like Jace if we're going to keep him a bit more protected. He does have the Bramble Vest, so it's not that important. Or I could save it for, like, uh, Red Buff, Shroud, Morello. Could also make on the on the uh, Gangplank. And we already have a Morello on Mordekaiser, so it's not the biggest deal. I think I might just make a, uh, a Trap Claw on one of our Vanguards, just to make him a little tankier. Uh, oh, there's a Rabadons. I'm not in early picks. I think that Rabadons is going to be gone by the time it gets to me. That person's taking it, right? Not easily. Um, another Rapid Fire Cannon wouldn't be great. Luden's Echo would be okay. It's a little bit more damage output. I don't think I need another stun from Demo Charge. Sure, I, I just need more damage output, right? Like, we have the tankiness. I'm looking for damage output. Let's throw this Luden's Echo on... Probably Cassidy, actually. He's going to be the one casting the most often. Or the gang or the Darius, actually. Darius, because every time he dunks, should chain that. So let's, th let's throw that on the Darius. Alright, sell that off. Still want to reroll for this, um, hopefully a Gangplank 2-star. And, uh... And who else can we find? Maybe another Mordekaiser? Not, not enough. Um, come on, give me something. Nope. Okay, uh, let's just throw a trap claw on, probably on the Cassadin. Could even make a locket if I really wanted to for a bit more tankiness. But I think I'll save this to hopefully find a Rabadons. Should be a big alt. Two strikes. Not going to be quite enough to kill them off here. They got a lot of AoE damage in the back. Ooh, that hurt. Dropped me down to 22 life. So we really need a two-star Gangplank or hopefully a larger area uh, to make him really carry these fights. I may just throw a Rod on him just for a bit more damage output. Uh, even if we don't have the full, um, full Rabadons just yet. I guess I'll, I'll actually wait. We might get a, a good, like, completed item on Kane. And I'm not really at risk of being eliminated this next round, so I think I can wait. I was rolling down to zero, because if I need to, I'll sell off some units to grab a, a two-star Gangplank. But I think we can just wait one more turn here. Hopefully we can find a good component off Kane. That would be the most ideal. Or a, a good completed item to put on the, the Gangplank. Or we can just grab another component this turn. From the... 
from the space pirates. It does not look like that's going to happen, actually. All of our space pirates are dead. We're still going to win the fight, but very slow and steady win. <laughs> Kane has a Dragon's Claw. Okay, that's not really what we want. Uh, I mean, Dragon's Claw is fine, because we can throw that on Jace so that he's got Bramble Vest and a Dragon's Claw, and he's just, like, invincible. But in terms of, uh, you know, actually improving our board, I'm not sure that's going to cut it. Um, or improving our Gangplank, rather. Hopefully we can get uh, six gold out of this um, this cane here. Nope, not gonna quite get it. I might want to just like sell off somebody else just because we are a little bit lacking in gold. Ah, eh, no, we'll just we'll just hit. Uh, we'll just hopefully hit this two-star gangplank, and then we'll be good. That's the plan. Did not happen. Um, okay, so I'm going to throw Dragon's Claw on the Jace. <sighs> I may dispute a point where I just want to make a locket or something. Locket's not great, but... Eh, I'll make, I'll make something here. Because I just, I don't want to lose here because we are kind of getting to the point where, like, a bad loss does mean taking 20 damage. Uh, or something close to it. So I just don't want that to happen. I also need to move my Gangplank to the side because he got hit by the Stratus Stillness and he got hit twice. He got hit with it like last time we faced this opponent. So that stunk. And uh, I got a Spatula. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, I go down to eight. Uh, spatula doesn't help me because I don't have another component to combine it with. Uh, I'm gonna move Gangplank off to, this, off to a side here so he doesn't get hit by that uh, Stratus Stillness again. Just one more gangplank, please. Alright, I'm gonna saw off these castings, because I think that's probably the least likely thing. <sighs> Maybe the Darius as well. Now we'll see if we grab some gold here. Uh I mean this is this is kind of working. We're just we've struggled on getting the, the two star gangplank. I think if we got a two star gangplank, this this is an easy game, because he he just demolishes people. But a one star, not quite getting it done. We can grab a dark star heart. No, I probably just grab a thieves gloves to throw on somebody. Are we gonna win this? I don't think so. Ah, eh, we will. Another big stun. Another stun. Another. St oh no, not another stun. Oh, oh no. Are we dead here? I think we're dead here. No! <laughs> oh no! We did get top four though. Oh man! I thought we were gonna win that. The the Aurelia just refused to die. <sighs> man. If we if we survive another turn, we got to combine like a thieves gloves. We got another shot at finding the two star gangplank. Seriously, a two star gangplank, we easily win that game. I think we like win the whole game. Because we would get a lot more components out of it as well, and he deals so much more damage. But uh, unfortunately, so close. Uh, that being said, I think this uh, this space pirate build can work. I mean, we didn't get the three star Darius. I really wish we had just been able to grab a couple more Darius over the course of the game, since he does carry so hard early on. Um, but that being said, you know, I think this is a legit build. I'm going to definitely be trying it a whole lot more. So I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. And uh, even though we just got fourth place, we do gain a little bit of a uh, rating. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.